for you must be born again. This is not an option. This is a, a, a demand, a command. This is an imperative. You must be born again. Now, what is it to be born again? To be born again is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your life, to make the Lord Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, to make him your master, to love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and strength and might and power, to cleave to God, to obey his commandments. Now, why are his commandments so important? Because keeping his commandments is a demonstration of your love and commitment to him. If you love someone, you will do what they say. You will be like they are. You will not cause offence. And to love God, you cannot cause offence against him. God is good and God is holy. Therefore, to love God, you must be good and you must be holy. You must be like him. For how can the goodness of God and the good uh, evil of man dwell together? They cannot. They cannot abide together. There's no um, comparison. There's no uh, union. It's like light and darkness. Light and darkness cannot abide together. Even so, evil and good cannot abide together. God demands that you make a choice. You either choose God or you choose devil. You choose God or you choose devil sin. You choose goodness and life or you choose separation from God eternally. You choose hell. The choice is yours. But Jesus is love. He is love and in his love he demonstrates that love by reaching down and telling you what to choose telling you what the choice should be. In fact, he dies for you. In your place. That you can automatically have union with him if you choose. Jesus said, my sheep, hear my voice. Look unto Jesus and be saved. It's almost as simple as that. You simply need to look. Look in the way of God. Look towards God. Desire God. If your desire is real, if you seek him with reality and a true heart, if you keep knocking at his door, he will not turn a blind eye or a deaf ear to you. He will open that door and he will say, come in. But you must come clean. And only the blood of Jesus can wash away your sin. Only the blood of Jesus can cleanse you and make you clean. So you must come through the blood. You must accept the sacrifice that Jesus made in your place. You must accept Jesus as Lord and Saviour of your life. Jesus said, I am the door. The only way to the Father is through Jesus, through the door of Christ.